All right, guys, welcome back to more Hitman 2. First off, thank you guys for all the support on this series. We're only on part three. I've kind of been treating this kind of like the first game as an episodic release. I'm just kind of taking my time with it, honestly. But we did three-headed serpent all in one video last time. This one, I had to break it into two. Otherwise, it'd be like over an hour long. I thought that might be a little excessive because uh, these three targets are all sprawled out. And I, I, I go for the best three little mission stories inside the mission itself. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for all the likes you drop on these parts. It really means a lot. And uh, let's do this, guys. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado Cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia. And one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm telling you, like, they did a fantastic job with the build-up, especially this mission. The intro cutscene, so we don't know the identity of this person yet. We gotta take out them two first, I'm guessing, to get info, or, or actually just intel. Uh, planning, I usually just keep it as is. Now, this is all based on your level, so I'm only level 11. I'm pretty sure I could change it. Uh, really just, I feel like the game gives you enough stuff to work with. I'm not really gonna stress about that. Challenges is what I really want to see. Uh, we got Black Kill our targets using electricity. Okay. Poison her. The disguise as a servant. Okay. Derail the train so it makes an unexpected stop. Make sure... Oh, wow. They're ready. All right. Stand still. Taylor. Oh, wow. Taking our measurements. And cahoots. Uh, <laughs> Maritime trickery. Barbershop. Oh, my goodness. It's like that Eastern Promises movie, isn't it? Uh, within scope. Sniper rifle. Uh, waiting for a sign. Wait, what did that say? The neon sign. Okay. Some of that dodgeball. Uh, it was his biggest fan. Yo, you can send him flying? What? I'm Man, I'm tempted to get that one. I'm trying to pick the ones I want to go for, but really it just boils down to what's available after each one. Her private pool... Okay. The proxy killer. Uh, or just proxy killer. Poison. Oh, his favorite T. All right. Shoot and eliminate all targets with a sniper rifle from the Outlook post. It seems like the sniper thing is actually pretty pretty good. All right. And the mission stories is what we're going to be doing. So I think Gone with the Winds, one of them I'll do. Uh, hmm. A close shave, maybe? Flames rekindled. I don't know which one I'm going to go for. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. 
The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. I love how it just begins. You're just there. There's no walking up entrance. Okay, here's the real question. He said that one person would be easy to find on top of his rooftop. Um, might be them up there. Where's this other person? I'm trying to just find like the red silhouette. Oh wait, there it is. Uh, this one's ground level, so which one should I go for first? Hmm. I guess what I could do really quick. Uh, let's look at mission stories. Uh, we could follow... I want to follow Gone with the Wind. I really want to do this one. Oh, I was saying go over here. All right. The one thing about this game is I feel like it's a very polished experience, and I feel like uh, since the first game was released in like an episodic fashion, I, that's why I wasn't really rushing this game. I could have just sat down and beat the whole thing in like a couple hours, but I didn't want to rush through it. I feel like there's not too many games coming out right now, anyways, and it would be kind of cool to just reoccurring have this series constantly come back. So thank you guys for all the likes and everything you drop on these parts. Blending in with the crowd, all right. I know. How do we get over there? It looks like... I gotta go out. I don't think it's this way. I really don't think it's this way at all. I said circles back. Oh, wait. Maybe it is. I need a disguise to get over there, I bet. Those two guys right there might stop me. Let's see really quick. And it actually shows that that is the person... Yeah, so it's got them marked as their names now, so that's the guy up top on the roof. Let's see what happens when I go through here. Trespassing, alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, uh, we need an outfit. And... I don't know what the best course of action to go here is. I guess we could... Go for the other person first. Let's try that. Now, the one way I edited... Hold on, why has this person got the dot? Calm down. It's cool. I'm telling you the truth here. Maelstrom left Mumbai because he was recruited by the British to work as a spy. The one thing I normally do with these videos, since the first Hitman game and this game are almost identical as far as, like, the way they're structured, I do a lot of editing. And so I'll kind of show a little bit of the area, and then there might be some... Wait, story mission revealing. Where's it at? Oh wow. Until then, we're talking about the person. No access. There's an important meeting taking place up there. Now beat it. So rude. So, armed thugs belonging to the street gang known as the Crows have evacuated a hill in the slums of Mumbai. This could be worth investigating. All right. Looks like we're following it. Now here's the thing. The man's a bloody terrorist. I want to go for the gone with the wind one. But, even if I don't, I'm sure whatever one I wind up getting is going to be amazing. Alright, discover junkyard. Nice. The leveling up. Let's get it. What's this? It's an iron? Where do I... Can I store the iron? I asked the guards if I could. Rat poison. I love how there's just rat poison in every level. Doesn't matter what it is. Alright, I think... Ooh, I feel like this is the outfit, guys. Right, if I can take this guy out, drag him back... Oh, no, I can't. 
Damn, there's some... I can get a coin. Hold on, let me... This might be the way. Might be the way. Here we go. Um... Let's go back this way. Hey. Check that out. This might be my this might be my opportunity, guys. Shit, there's people there, really? Okay. Man. Yo, I just like pulled off that. I don't know how I did it. Alright, I'm good. That is amazing. Don't mind me. Yo, I so I dragged the body. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get caught. Last minute disguise and I somehow made it. It's actually kind of hilarious. I don't know. Like I shouldn't be here right now. It's a pretty good disguise, though. I felt like, uh... I don't need to go down there. Let me go back this way. This, this game is just so massive. Like, I love that... There's only a handful of levels, so it's more like quality over quantity, really. And I'm glad that this one, of all things, is just like... Oh, wait, is this... Is this the wrong disguise for this area? Hold on. Hey, I can't let you... All right, all right. Yo, I need to just... Okay, so this disguise is for the other area anyways. It's just almost like... I need to go for her first. With this disguise. So then... When I take her out, then I can get the other one for the other guy. Let's do that. All right, makes sense, makes sense. Now these guys... Got those dots, so... I can't go through here, can I? A tailor or something. Make yeah, I can't let you through. Sorry, okay, yeah, sir. I figured that. I'm sure she'll help you if you just show some patience and some respect. I know the fight. Let me look at the challenges. There might be something nearby. Um, Crow's mission store. Here it is. Gone with the wind. Addressed, uh... What about this one? It's gotta be close by, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's right over here. Well, let's do that one. Anything that's close by, since I'm trying to get her first, I figured I'll pick one of the little story things for her. Let's try this. Here we go. Oh, Vikram. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Disguise yourself as the tailor, alright. Now how am I supposed to get this guy by himself with all this mess over here? Uh, go for it. Commit. Commit. Nice. Yo. <laughs> no one suspects a thing. Excuse me, Mister. What happened back there? It wasn't me. Uh, textile merchant. How much of these? Ah, you're back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled hacker. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 
105 rupees. It's a deal, yes? Wow. Good. It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one. Silk, cotton. I'm gonna go with blue. Beautiful colors, great. Thank you. Come again. Arrange an audience, okay. It's gonna be a cool yeah. little story kill. I think when I played the first game, I just killed whoever I could, any way I could. I didn't do any of the story stuff. It's just like it is what it is, but... Ah, it's you. Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. Come on. Let's see what you have in your pockets today. Uh, hold on. Let me drop some stuff off. Uh, I need to use that. Uh, I want to get rid of that stuff. Hold on. All right, so... Hmm, I need to- I definitely need to put that in there. Let me just drop this other stuff. I don't know if an iron really matters. Like, I'm- I'm kind of nervous because it's like... Non-lethal, non-lethal. Five wire is definitely... Well, I don't know if that's really- okay, that's a legal item. Let me make sure. Non-lethal. I don't need an iron. I really don't. Brick, I don't need that as well. I'm worried about the fiber wire, but I don't think I'm... I don't think it's going to be a problem. Let's see. There goes nothing. The fiber wire might do it. You want to get through here? I need to frisk you first. Now, let's see if you've brought me something interesting today. Okay, go on then. Nice. We passed it. Let's get it, guys. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Here we are. She's tough. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you at the garden. Well, there she is. Wait for your turn. I perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when in a financial situation That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Provided the child lives so long. Well, that is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussain. Five, five years, my queen. Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen. For you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning months. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure for the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Find me some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final hey, execution stop. up to you. This is pretty cool. I like how they make the certain people like almost untouchable unless you do some of these other things. Like this would have never happened. You there. Leave us. Measuring tape. Privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tailors left theirs behind. You can use that. Alright, start session. And what is this over here? Hold on. Train yard key. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. What about that person behind her? Don't they need to leave first? 
I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shar. Turn around, please, Miss Shar. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've probably heard about the other demons. How some of them ended up in the gutters because they didn't want us. This dress is important. Not the dress itself, but what it represents. You see, there are those out there who do not want to be paying tribute to their queen. People who think the value of their lives can be measured in money. It started with one man, but these things spread like ripples in the Soon another, then a third. Tributes to your queen keep you alive, not money. Eventually, I will find a craftsman who understands the true value of life. Is that man you, I wonder? That's all I need, Miss Shah. I'm done here. Excellent work. See yourself out. Your queen has other business to attend to. Should be good to go now. I wonder if I can put confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Both bodies. Excellent in work, forty-seven. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Alright, we're good. The measuring tape thing worked. Pick up scissors. Might need those. That was kind of easy, actually. Like I thought it would be a lot harder, but. It is what it is, you know. All right, now on to the second person. I don't know if it's gonna be easy or not, but let's see what story mission we can actually follow to probably get that one started at least. Uh, something cool, you know. All right, so we got this one, which I think is nearby. A close shave. Let's try that. Where is it at? Oh, it's right over here. How convenient. I really like the Hitman series. I feel like uh, a lot of games don't really stick to their roots from like this almost plays identical to the first game. Which I don't know if that's good or bad, but it I think it's good just because it did such a great job with it. It's like the first one was such a solid Another experience. Oh, I do get- I have the train yard key, so I don't know if I'm gonna actually need that or not anytime soon. How do I get down there? Can I just jump? No, oh, I can't. I, that'll break those knees. Alright, let's run down there. I'm gonna just start back over where we were. Unless you can just go this way. Alright guys, I'm gonna go around this way. I feel like I need to get a disguise now because... Oh, I'm technically trespassing right here. Someone's trying to pull a fast one over. Let me go catch this asshole and I'll get back to you guys after. Alright, once this guy turns around, I'm gonna subdue him. Get this outfit on. Top, man. Oh, he's going too far. Drag him back over here, please. Alright, we're good. Fresh disguise. Let's get it. Now, what did this guy drop? He dropped two things. I mean, I guess I could pick that up. Not that I'm gonna need it, really. Alright, so now I can go down to the hideouts without any anybody, like, suspecting a thing, hopefully. Famous last words. Yeah. Why is that guy like got the Ike? Well, when we brought him down here, the boss had insisted on blindfolding him. I think he must have thought we were going to kill him or something. 
Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Oh my god, this is gonna be nerve-wracking. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. When I come back next time, I'm gonna go ahead and continue the chasing a ghost. I'll take out the other two targets, get the next two cutscenes, and then it's on to another life. I love you guys. You're the best audience ever. And I'll see you soon.